wherever you are in the world today. I hope you are fantastic today. It's Friday, the weekend's around the corner, and um, I know for sure how excited I am about that. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with the video series, uh, which is good for you, <laughs> because I really hope you have to see how this all operates, uh, this next move over here has been quite key. All right, so as it looks in the moment, there is some potentiality that we may see the market moving down. All right, so not much has happened today other than this move within this uh, resistance band. And it's not much to go by um, just as it is. As I might mention too, the reason the target zone is here is because the in terms of the space for the rest of the cycle, there's a lot of space here. And it's kind of irresponsible for the market to have formed over there, then go down. But um, it's worth taking a look at. So the um, candle did break below the support line. It's showing that uh, just in general, by the way, if your Gantt tool does have price action kind of along here, that it's a weaker market. Or alternatively, it might be indicating that um, the downtrend is actually in play. So as I made mention to in the previous videos, um, with the potential high being here, that means that we got a quite a long travel down. So let's have a look at what that might look like for in case that is the way it is. So again, this is still very much in that range of um, like watching. Like if it goes up over here, then yeah, then we will put down the target zone again. Um, but as it's broken quite convincingly down below this support line for now, I'm going to look at the alternative option and leave it there unless proven otherwise. And then we'll just go back to the original setup. Oh. All right, so just something to note in terms of a confirmed turning point, we haven't actually got an oscillator switch over here. So maybe it's lagged, maybe it's confused, maybe there isn't enough pull to the downside to switch it just yet, but um, that's just something to keep an eye on. So say in the unlikely, because it looks weird to me when it's like this, but we'll explore it. In the quote unquote unlikely event that we've got this coming down, Actually, that looks pretty neat. Now that I've got the Gantt tool down, it makes a lot more sense. Because that's quite a linear progression to the upside. Over here was quite a convincing linear progression to the upside, and then it turned to be in a prolonged um, transition up. We obviously uh, called the down. And now we've got good shape interaction with the Gantt tool facing downwards. So. It's interesting to say the least. Um, I'm going to say it again, even though I've said it a few times. Turning point seven, or alternatively, the fourth high of the cycle has come in quite early, which means there's going to be some travel across to towards the end of the cycle, which is here, but I'm just tired of putting down that black line because the software keeps on getting it wrong. I'll do it one last time. All right, um, so there's still, I mean, if this is the beginning of the downtrend, which is obviously a lower high, if this is the beginning of a downtrend, that means that we're going to see the downtrend kind of take us down to at least the lower 50s. Okay, I was toying around whilst I go through the analysis. Once again, it's always good to have a structure, something to tick off at every single turning point and help you in every second, uh, every single circumstance. I've got my MTOP strategy. I hope you got something strong for yourself. Um, so let's do market structure to start. Okay, I've covered that a number of times. Um, in terms of the time forecast, I don't think it's just going to drop. But for now, I'm going to 
disqualify, I'd say, from about there backwards. Okay, then I want to disqualify, obviously, anything above that low. Nico is not going to have a low form above that low if we've got a transition down after a high has been formed. So we're back into this, this area over here. I think at this stage, because the, the hardest part of trading for me is getting confirmation whilst it's still early in on the transition, because there's still uncertainty and decisions being made over here. Um, so to call it too soon is being risky when it comes to my strategy. Like it's best just to allow it to give you the path it wants to take. And as you've seen over here, there's more than enough profit to make from after that's given to you and more than enough time. Okay, it gives you enough time as well. People feel like they need to rush into a trade. Uh, more than enough time and profit to just have that layer of security to allow it to tell you its nominated routes that it wants to follow. All right, so my eyes are, is it going to go down here or is it going to retract down here? Bearing in mind Saturday and Sunday are coming in, which means the bigger money uh, quietens down and you got your, your moms and pops kind of retail trading from their couch um, in their pajamas. So liquidity kind of dries off. Um, which says to me, probably see it crawl along here. So I'm going to call one of these for the time being. I don't think it's just going to go across this way, especially if it's got such a low um, high forming after that high. I'm going to say one of these options are the way to go. So that's my time and price forecast. And also waiting for the support and resistance to confirm a which travel it's going to go down um, or b if we do have the right configuration or if it's just pushing down whilst it's trying to move across of upward move but for the time being um, whilst this was getting defined and giving us direction it does seem that this is the more probable move to follow even though again this is really early in for um, a seven and a very tight move to the upside, which means a convincing downtrend, I think, is about to follow. So let's still getting used to this shape. Um, start off with our target down here, and then we we'll, might adjust it as and when depending on which way it goes. But I think here is a good starting point. Yeah. If anyone's interested to learn a bit more about the way I think and feel around uh, the trading hemisphere, please, oh, there we go, there's that oscillator switch. All right, this is good. Okay, so I think, yeah, down we go. Um, head over to my Instagram. No, I don't have Instagram. <laughs> well, only a personal one. Um, my TikTok <laughs> and um, YouTube shorts. I've uploaded 17 new shorts today, just about experience and tips and um, debunking myths about the markets and certain things that I wish I knew when I started trading. And I had someone um, who was experienced just kind of show me the way a bit more. So that's there. If you want to check it out, head over to YouTube. It's the easiest or find me on TikTok. Uh, it's MTOPS Criterion. Um, I check it out. I think it was Blano MTOPS. I'm not too sure. I'm not a social media fundy. I'm a trader. So all this other stuff is second tier. Anyway, so this is um, hopefully beneficial to you. Have a great weekend. And I think before I jump off, I just want to have a quick look at all of the beautiful interactions coming through. It feels like I'm making friends online over here. We've got Simon um, getting involved, saying how much he um, loves the analogy. I want to mention names. I suppose it's Friday. Let's get a shot. 
Koj K584, Mesmo Mustafa, <laughs> Yusuf Bello, and so on. Sorry, it's a bit painful saying Aaron Elliott. If you guys don't change your name, it's difficult for me to um, pronounce. And um, yeah, it just feels like there's a ton of great interaction. I haven't said thank you enough this week. I've got over 150 posts. Uh, I've got boosts and followers and comments I've um, replied to and the mentions I've replied to. But yeah, the, the love is just keeping um, its flow coming in. So thanks, Craig. Thanks, guys. Thanks for thanks for making this lonely, isolating journey a, le- a little bit less lonely. It's great to see your faces. It's great to see your interaction, your ideas, the boosts. It's all very well appreciated. Tide Trader, what a fantastic name for a <laughs> for an account. Um, yeah, wow. It just keeps going and going and going. This is only three days ago, four days ago. This is not even from Monday. There's Monday. So thanks, everyone. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Ciao for now.